hybrid line. And this is the third type of questions about money. Uh, it's saying Ron has $21.90 made up of dimes and quarters. If there are 117 coins in all, how many quarters are there? So again, I want to remind me about two things. First of all, when we talk about the value of the dimes, uh, if we're going to uh, say the dimes equal 10 cents, and the quarters, it's going to be 25 cents. That means I need to use cents for the total. So that means 2,190 cents. If I want to keep the money in dollars, as it is like $21.90, so I'm talking about dollars. In this case, I have to use for dime 0 0.10 dollars and for the quarter 0 0.10. 25 dollars very important uh, so uh, I'm going to remind you again about the famous equation that we need to use that we are saying the total has to equal to the value of the dimes time the number of dimes and as usual we are missing this one we are looking for the number of dimes plus the value of the quarters time the number of quarters and if i can start to replace this number so i'm going to say here 2190 cents equal to the value of times which is 10 cents time a variable plus the value of quarters which is 25 cents time the variable that I'm going to use and again I'm repeating that since we have only one equation I need only one variable so uh, in this case if I'm going to say let uh, Q, for example, equal to the number of quarters. What about the number of dimes? So I have to find the keyword here. And the keyword here is saying if there are 117 coins in all, very important in all that means the number of quarters plus the number of times so number of quarters plus the number of dimes equal to 117 so if i have the number of quarters we said q what about the number of dimes to have 117. So if I'm looking for this, I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to ask the Q to go to the other side. So it's going to be 117 minus Q. And this is what I can use here, 117 minus Q, because I want to keep only one variable in my, in my equation. I cannot use Q for quarters and D for dimes. I cannot. Therefore, I can replace here since 10 is the value of dimes. The number of dimes is going to be 117 minus Q. And the 25, 25, this is a value of quarters, so it's going to be Q. Now, I have only one variable for this equation, which is a Q. And this is correct 100%. So I'm going to say 2,190 equal to, I'm going to use a distributive property. So 10 times 117, it's going to be 1,170 minus 10Q plus 25Q. Now I can uh, add the, uh, combine the like terms. So, and I need to transfer the 1,170 to the other side. So it's going to be 2,190 minus 1,170 equal to uh, the negative 10Q, it's staying as it is, and the 25Q staying as it is. Now when I combine the like terms, it's going to give me 15Q. And here, 0 minus 0 equals 0. 9 minus 7 equals 2. 1 minus 1 equals 0. 2 minus 1 equals 1. Now, to isolate 
Q, I need to divide by 15. So I have to do the same thing in the other side. So here I'm going to use a calculator and say what? 1020 <clears throat> divide by the 15. I will have 68. So that means to finalize my equation, I'm going to say 68 <clears throat> equal Q. And 68, this is the number of quarters. If I need to find the number of dimes, in this case, I'm going to say what? 117, the total, minus 68. And here, I can find the number of times. So 68 minus 117 equal to 49. That means I have 49 dimes. So these are the two numbers that I am looking for. 68 number of quarters, 49 the number of dimes. Verification, I still can do it to make sure that my work is correct. So verification, I'm going to say I have 68 quarters, that means time 25 cents, plus I have 49 dimes, which means 10 cents. So the total here, 490. And 68 times 25, 68 times 25, 1,700. Now, if I add both of them, going to give me 0, 9, 7, and 4, 11, 1, and 2. 2,190, and don't forget cents, this is my original price. And this is to make sure that my uh, solution about the 68 and the 49 are correct numbers. Thank you for listening.